Hello. Please do excuse the hair. It's decided to, um, completely rebel against me for no good reason. So I've kind of wanted to try dermaplaning, dermaplaning my face for a while now. I've been curious about it because I do have the peach fuzz and I, I don't know, like the peach fuzz doesn't really bother me that much, but um, I've always just kind of been curious to, to try dermaplaning out. Um, so I thought that's what I'd do today. I thought I'd give dermaplaning a try for the first time and um, do, do a quick little skincare routine because uh, I, I haven't done a skincare based video in a while. A lot of it's been makeup lately. So, so yeah, that's the plan for today. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to give my face a quick wash and then I will come back here and uh, we'll start with the derma planning. I read a couple articles and I watched a couple videos on it and apparently derma planning does work best on clean, dry skin. So if you want to come along with me, we'll uh, hop into the washroom and um, wash my face. Oh. So. <laughs> The sink is currently occupied, uh, and that's my CLR. <laughs> Hang on. So the bug did move itself. It is now on the wall behind me. That is a crane fly. Okay. I just wrapped my hair up with my hair stick so it's out of my face. I'll just uh, wash my face with the Purito Defense Barrier. PH cleanser. Da da da. Cool. My face has been thoroughly cleansed. Uh, feeling very tight and dry, as it should be, I assume, for this procedure. Uh, here's a before of my peach fuzz. Holy cow, look at all that. So it's very evident here. Um, you can kind of see it over here. It's, it's harder to see because of the light shining on my face, but you can kind of see if I do this. You can kind of see, there we go. You can kind of see like the shadow, like the fuzz shadow that it leaves on my skin right here so yeah i'm gonna see how much of that i can get off today so i got this razor just a cheapie i think i got these i got this in a pack of three from uh yes style but you, you can find these anywhere you can get them on uh yes style amazon uh etc and um it's just a just a small razor with a handle meant for like your eyebrows for for trimming eyebrows, but um, I guess this is the tool of choice to use for at-home face shaving. So before I get started, because I don't do my eyebrows that often, um, I haven't used this in a while, so, so I'm just going to take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and clean it off. So I just got some rubbing alcohol on this cotton here, and I'm just gonna really squish it in there. Make sure the alcohol really makes good contact with that blade. Because the last thing you want is um, the blade that's making contact with your face to have bacteria on it. There we go. Clean as a whistle. And I guess now I shall begin. So what you're supposed to do is some people hold their skin taut if they need to so that the blade glides smoother and doesn't skip and I guess some people don't have to do that because they've been blessed with like a tight face already I don't have- I got- I've got thick cheeks so I think I will be pulling my skin just a little bit like this um, so you're supposed to, I guess Hold it in your dominant hand, which I'm ambidextrous, so they're both kinda. 
but I'll start with my right hand and then I'll just I'll see what I feel more comfortable with and then you hold it at a 45 degree angle so this is straight you hold it kind of like that and then just start was so much oh my goodness <gasps> whoa I have a secondary mirror over here by the way so if you see me looking in this direction it's because I found a mirror that actually like I don't need to hold so I've set that up over here oh my goodness here, I'm gonna try and... <laughs> so you get an idea of how much peach fuzz is on my face. I'm gonna slowly... Because they're light as air, so they will, like, fly off if I breathe on it by accident. Do you see that? <gasps> Whoa! Oh... My gosh. I have a beard! As I go, I have this, uh... A uh, clean paper towel. I've actually like I've just, I've dampened it so that I can just like wipe it off as I go. I can see all the p little pieces, all the little hairs flying around in the air. I don't know if this will become like a regular thing for me, but fun to try. I'm trying to be very careful around my hair, like my hairline and my eyebrows. Because I don't want to shave off anything that, like, I'm not supposed to. You see that? There's no halo of peach fuzz here. <gasps> wow. We'll really see a difference over here because it's very because of the angle the light is hitting it. This the peach fuzz on this cheek is very evident. Oh, this is like a totally unnecessary thing to do, by the way. Like, my peach fuzz, the peach fuzz on my face does not typically bother me. I'm not embarrassed by it or anything. I was just very curious about this, so... Wanted to give it a try. I just hope that, like, it doesn't look weird when it grows back, the peach fuzz. It probably won't because peach fuzz is so fine that, like, it probably won't do anything. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done. I didn't nick myself. That's good. Uh, when they do this in a professional setting, I believe they then go the other way. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna chance that today. 
I am going to do in between my eyebrows though. Because I do have a couple hairs there that annoy me. And there we have it. Wow. You can still see a little bit over here. Let's see if I can get that off. So you can see here. I don't know, should we do like a before and after? Before and after? Peach fuzz, no peach fuzz? I'll be really interested to see when I'm, when I'm editing this, the difference. My face, but with less hair on it. There you go. The shaving is done. I have a bunch of peach fuzz. <laughs> what, what, what little I could get off the blade most of it just kind of like whoosh, flew away but there that is i will clean this and put it away later and now i'm gonna do the rest of my skincare uh this is some skincare that i've been um uh, kind of enjoying over the summer uh the first one is the isn't tree green tea fresh toner it has green tea from Jeju Island that helps control excessive sebum for soft skin. Um, this wasn't necessarily made for a drier skin type. You can see that it's almost empty. I've used quite a fair bit of it. I, I just read a lot of really good reviews about this, that it was a really good toner, and it came in like a, a box set that I got from Stylevana, so I've been using this. I just make sure I go over it with some really, like, hydrating and moisturizing uh, products afterwards and it's fine I've never had a problem um, but it is I believe technically meant for more normal to to oily skin types because it's so watery I'm not the biggest fan of dispensing things out of tops like this because I find that it like like it drips out and gets everywhere all over like the top and it gets messy and I don't like that so I've been pouring this into an empty um, spray bottle that I'm just uh, reusing and I've just been spraying it on my face. Wow. And then we pat that in. So green tea is like a really nice um, uh, soothing antioxidant ingredient for your skin. Go with another layer. Um, this has like it has a nice fresh smell to it, like a fresh, almost herbal smell to it. A feedback on the smell online was very mixed. A lot of people really liked it because it does smell, it smells kind of like fresh tea. Um, some people thought it was too strong. I actually quite like it, but you know, that's a personal preference thing. Next is the, uh, I believe this is an essence. The Secret Key Starting Treatment Essence with Galactomyces. Uh, I love Galactomyces, can't get enough of it. Any fermented ingredients, especially fermented rice, I just, I, I really enjoy it. I like the way it makes my skin feel. I don't know, it just makes my skin feel like plump and I mean, I don't need any help with feeling plump. <laughs> um. Uh, it just makes my skin feel like um, nourished and hydrated and all the things that you want in an essence are in here, I guess. Cool. So after a couple layers of that, next is serum. I've been using two right now. I kind of just mix the two. It is the Ordinary's Alpha Arbutin 2% with Hyaluronic Acid and the Azaline Soothing Peptide Ampoule by Shermedic giant bottle um this one it has guaiazoline in it which is a very soothing calming ingredient and alpha arbutin is um is good for um uh, for brightening the skin tone lightening any dark spots if you are prone to post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation then alpha arbutin it can help uh lessen that what i usually do is i mix a few drops of each of them and apply them both on my face at the same time. I just squeeze a little bit of this out onto my hand and then take this guy 
Try and do this so you can see. And then one, two, three ish drops. And then apply. Whatever's left over on my hands gets shared with my neck. And then to finish it all off, I'm going to just apply what is for me a super light moisturizer. It's the Ultimate Moisturizing Honey Overnight Mask by Cosrx. But it's kind of like a uh, like a gel. You can't see. It's kind of like a gel moisturizer kind of deal. Just a little bit like that. I'm not going to use too much because this is technically a, a daytime skincare routine. I don't usually use as many products in the daytime, but I did just razor my face, so. Honey is a great humectant. It's really good for retaining moisture in the skin. It's an ingredient that I really enjoy in my products. Honey can also be pretty soothing as well, so there's that. And as someone with dry skin, this is actually a pretty lightweight moisturizer. Um, after a few minutes, all of this will soak into my skin and my skin will just feel nice and lightly moisturized. It won't feel heavy at all for something that says overnight mask on it. But again, I have, I have drier skin, so. And there we have it. There's my skincare routine after trying dermaplaning for the first time. Dermaplaning or shaving the face does count as an exfoliation step because you are scraping away the dead skin cells on the surface of your skin. Um, and today would usually be a like an exfoliation day for me because I don't I don't exfoliate every day. I, I, I splay the like I split it up throughout the week so that my skin isn't just being constantly barraged with with like chemical exfoliants. But today would normally be a day when I would exfoliate. Uh, so I'm not going to because I already did that um, by dermaplaning. Just in case you weren't aware, because I wasn't aware that uh, dermaplaning is like, it's, it's a form of exfoliation. Yeah, so that's it. That's the video. Um, forgot, last step. This is a lip Treatment, technically, is what it says. Tinted lip treatment with butter blend. Physician's formula organic wear. In the shade Love Bite. Eh, like it says. It is a tinted lip. It's got a twisty. Very tinted. It is a tinted lip balm, I guess. So... Now my skin routine is done. I'm curious, let me know down in the comments uh, if any of you guys have uh, tried dermaplaning before or were curious about it but never were kind of afraid to try it or if it's like an absolute staple in your in your skincare routine because I think I kind of like it, to be honest with you. Um, I like that it's an exfoliation step as well. I do love me a good exfoliation step. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a big old thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. It would really help me out and I will see you in the next one. Can you guys hear the beeping in the background? That's coming from like two streets over. I don't know what's happening, but there's like the beeping of trucks backing up. like the least professional thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I'm just, as I go, oh, dang, actually, like, I've just dampened, oh, I don't feel like fiddling around with whatever kind of sideburns those are trying to be. I can't stop touching my face. I can feel a pimple maybe here. A pimple that's deciding whether or not it wants to be a pimple. Don't be a pimple. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, 
Fortunately, I'm personally pretty comfortable with knives. Um, so let me know, let me know, why can't I speak? Ah, 